All right, guys, so now that my reaction is out of the way and I will not pop the mic in this one, I promise, uh, we can talk about the trailer as a whole. My thoughts, now that I've kind of settled down, my heart rate has gone down, and just kind of do a quick breakdown of what I thought of the entire trailer, the mood, and a couple things I've noticed. So first off, getting right into this, I absolutely love the last scene there with Jane. Absolutely love that one, my favorite. I've talked about it before, it's no secret if you've been on this channel for any amount of time. I don't like Thor, like I never liked the Thor character in the comics. Jane Foster's run was the one that really got me into the Thor comics. So I cannot wait to see more of this. She looks absolutely perfect here. Again, we need to see better lighting and the full-on armor, but I love what it looks like in this one scene. Another thing I noticed is the obvious joke that you got to make is, hey, is this like Guardians 2.5? And it kind of is because it kind of has to be, right? Like you definitely get the sense that they have to sort of meld things together here to make it kind of gel well with the Guardians team. And you get a hint of that Guardians humor that we're going to have in this, but it's not too far removed of what we already saw with the Guardians working with the Avengers and everything. It's just a little weird because previously the Thor films were, you know, trying to be more serious. And then they proceeded to become, well, the last one, Ragnarok, which was titled Ragnarok, but it was more comedic in nature. We get a bigger sense of, I think, adventure scale, uh, you know, this whole Thor becoming his own character in this, which I really appreciate. And obviously it looks like he's going to have to go on this, like, self-discovery, self-fulfilling journey in this that it looks like it's going to take them far and wide across the universe, specifically to the pantheon of different gods. I mean, we see Zeus in this clearly gives me hopes that maybe Hercules is going to be introduced in this because we've heard that rumor. The worlds here look different. The uh, you know approach to everything looks like something we haven't seen in the MCU yet in terms of like the color grading, the planets, the visuals, just what they're going for here. It looks like the most unique thing Thor thing yet, yeah. but also it kind of carves out its own little corner and niche of the Marvel Universe again. And again, I'm drawing a parallel to Guardians, but the Guardians are out there in space, different planets, so you're going to have to draw that parallel because they're the ones that have done the most exploring to date, so it's not a negative, don't get me wrong, I know it's going to come off sounding like that. Again, I'm really starting to get hyped for this. Going into this, I've talked about it in recent podcasts we've put together, my hype hasn't been that much all there i mean i'll be quite blunt and honest with you i just haven't cared much because i didn't know what to expect now seeing this seeing the scope of it and what they're going to go for i cannot wait to see this and a large part of that is is jane foster I i'll be real with you um i cannot wait to see how they pull off that comic book run which again made me interested in thor for the first time so i love it uh i cannot wait couple things I noticed in this is obviously Thor is going to be a Ravager-like character. He's probably working with them. They don't get too much into it. Obviously, no Gore the God Butcher, but that's fine. I, yeah, I love it. I absolutely adore this trailer. <laughs> 